Hello, my wonderful pen friends. Welcome back to The Pen Habit, and welcome to the very first episode of Season 5. I am looking forward to this season. It's going to be great. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff to talk about, and this season's going to be a little bit different. I know I say that every year, and it's true every year, but uh, one thing I'd like to focus a little bit more of my time and energy on this season is kind of getting away from the reviews and talking a little bit more about answering your questions and the basics of fountain pens for those people who are kind of new to the hobby. I want to get back to those roots of of doing these videos because that's how I got started and um, because I was learning them as I was going to. And, you know, not everyone's always interested in $2,000 fountain pens. So we're going to try to do a wider range of pens, look at more inks, look at um, some basics of things like wax seals or how to use an ultrasonic cleaner. So it should be a really, really fun season. I've got some wonderful sponsors this season, uh, Pen Chalet and Van Ness Pens among them. Others will be coming too, and I will be mentioning them as well. And uh, I'm really excited for this season. So let's kind of get into it. Uh, so a few changes for me, as I mentioned, uh, big big weight loss journey on my, my uh, shores right now. I'm working on dropping about 65, 70 pounds that I put on after I stopped dancing for a living and started sitting behind a computer all day long. So I've uh, been back at the gym, started swimming, started running, uh, changed my diet quite a bit, and I have had quite a bit of success so far. So I'm really happy with that. I've still got a ways to go, but it's a journey, not a destination. It's kind of a destination, but don't, don't tell anyone I said that. But not solely a destination. So <laughs> there you go. Um, this summer saw the release of the updated Inky Fingers notebooks. So there are now dot grid, lined, blank, a new updated currently inked journal, and a new bullet planner in both travelers and pocket size. So that's very exciting. The notebooks have been selling well. The paper in the new versions of the books is even better than the paper in the previous version of the books, in my opinion. And uh, it's they're, they're really, really high quality. The, the new books are really, really high quality. So that's been fun as well. Uh, well, I did want to. I did go to the San Francisco Pen Show at the end of August, which was a lot of fun. Had a great time. I worked at the Van Ness table again, as I often do. And the San Francisco show this year was insanity. It was crazy. It was busy. I don't know that I've ever been busier or worked harder at a pen show than I did in San Francisco. And uh, the the San Francisco show is really, really starting to take on a, a very vibrant, exciting energetic personality, and I love that. Uh, we need more West Coast shows like that. Now, speaking of West Coast shows, I did want to talk a little bit about the Seattle Pen Show. So uh, depending on how active you are in the pen community, you may or may not have heard some things about a Seattle Pen Show. I do know that there is a, a young man, and a, he's gathering a group of people that's putting together uh, a pet, wants to try to put together a pen show here in Seattle. I think that's fantastic. I've often said I would love to have a pen show here. We have we have a very very poor representation of pen shows on the in the West. I think there's Colorado, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and that's about it for for full size pen shows. So I'm I applaud the effort. Now I am not deeply involved with the effort, nor am I running it. It is not my show. Uh, so I, I do want to make that clear. This is not my show. I mean, it would be my local show, but it's not, I don't own the show. I'm not running it. So, um, but the the folks who are, are putting it together, doing a lot of research right now, I am offering what little knowledge I have to offer. And obviously if the show happens here, I'll be talking about it a lot because I'd love to see a show happen here. But there's still some some work to do before that happens. So just uh, just to set expectations, no announcements about a Seattle Pen Show. The dates haven't been set or anything like that. But stuff is coming along, and hopefully I'll have news that I'll be able to pass along when the time comes. And that's kind of exciting, too, because like I said, we need more pen shows here out west. All right. Well, for the remainder of this welcome video, I thought what I would do is kind of do a mailbag video. I have gotten a lot of stuff from different people. I've picked it up at pen shows. They've sent it to me. I've got a big backlog of stuff to review. 
So I thought I'd talk through some of it just really briefly, kind of give you a quick show and let you know everything that's going to be coming up. And uh, some of it we'll be giving away as well. So let's go ahead and dive in. The first thing I wanted to show you is this. This is a journal I got from a company in the UK called Life Arts. It is gorgeous. So it's, um, it's an Italian-made leather journal. It's got this dark blue, navy blue leather with this kind of tan leather, beautiful, perfect stitching, um, really nice cream-colored paper. It's stitched signatures. I got the lined version because I like lined versions, uh, but they have a huge selection of different different leather notebooks. I'm, I've been really impressed with the quality of this, and they, uh, they embossed my initials down here as well, which is very cool. So I haven't used this with a fountain pen. I have another journal I would like to finish up before I start using this, but I also don't want to wait that long. So I may write something in here with a couple of fountain pens just to get started, because and, and I'll do a full review of this later on. So links to all of this stuff will be on the sh in the show notes over on penhabit.com. Comes with this little canvas bag as well. So um, very cool there. All right, what do we have next? Um, I did get one of these bottles toward the end of last season, picked up another one at the, um, the Pelican Hub, but it's the Pelican Edelstein Ink of the Year Smoky Quartz. And the funny thing is, I actually have a third bottle of it in my own personal collection that I bought with my own money. So um, I will be giving these away at, throughout the course of the season, and there'll be a review. Uh, it might be a kind of a short review as, as opposed to the full-blown review, but kind of a, an overview of the ink as well coming up. So one of these came from Goulet Pen Company. Huge thanks to them for sending this over. The other one came from Pelican as part of the Pelican Hub project. Again, huge thanks to Pelican for that. And uh, more on this coming up as well. Okay, what, do we, what else we got? We'll do another. This is um, Pen Chalet Pen Flush. This came uh, as part of the gift bag from the Pelican Hub that we had here uh, a couple weeks ago in September. I didn't even know Pen Chalet was making Pen Flush. Haven't had a chance to use it, but we'll be talking a little bit about Pen Flush and pen cleaning and that sort of thing in some of the videos this season. So this will probably make another appearance there as well. Oh, my, my, my goodness. Let's take a look at a pen, maybe. So I've talked a little bit about this one, or I will be talking about it. I, I, I recorded my videos out of order, so I can't remember if the video, I don't think I've done the video where I've talked about this yet, but this is a pen I got, one of two pens I got from the company Diplomat. I got it from Points of Distinction, the U.S. Diplomat distributor. Now, I have reviewed their Excellence A Evergreen. This is the Excellence A Skyline, which is a slightly different version of the Evergreen that I reviewed and really, really, really liked. Um, this got a really cool guilloche engraving in the underneath the lacquer, and then this electric blue clear lacquer that really shows off the guilloche. It's very, very pretty. Comes with a steel nib that writes like a dream, like all of Diplomat's nibs have. And I'm going to be doing a to the point video on this, which is replacing the other kind of shortened review format that I did earlier. That's going to be one of the new things this season. That'll be coming up in a while. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway of it. So keep an eye out for this as well. Oh my goodness. Let's talk pen cases for a second. So this came, I, I, uh, this was given to me by Rickshaw Bagworks at the San Francisco Pen Show. It's a, it's a three pen pen case, and you guys, I've started using it, and I'm kind of in love. This is very quickly becoming my daily carry case. I like it a lot. There's a couple neat things about this. First of all, it's got a nice Velcro, very high quality construction. Got the Rickshaw logo here, and you know me, I love myself some green. But I, if you open it up. Nice, vel big Velcro swatch, so you don't have to try to line up, you know, line it up. It just, it works. You've got three pen sleeves, and you can put very large pens in this pen case. I mean, that's the Diplomat Excellence A is a good medium-sized pen, and there's plenty of space in here. I can fit my classic pen LB5s in here, no problem. It comes with this plastic sleeve, this hard plastic sleeve that you can use to, you know, put 
credit cards or business cards or receipts in to keep them all organized, which is kind of fun. And uh, then it also has space for at least one or two uh, pocket-sized notebooks in the back. You can use it for other things as well, but I use it for pocket notebooks. And I actually use this as my to keep track of the food that I eat. Now, I haven't updated this in a little while, but you can see that when I'm good about tracking my food as part of my weight loss journey, this is this has worked out really well. And of course, I have to use one of the uh, Pen Habit Inky Fingers Dot Grid notebooks for that because, of course, I do. So that is very cool with the Rickshaw Bag Works, and I like this case a lot. But one of the really neat things about this case is they will make custom case batches of custom cases. So I am thinking about doing a Pen Habit or Inky Fingers specific case and selling it. So if that's something you're interested in, you'd be interested in getting a, a case like this that's branded with the Pen Habit logo or the Inky Fingers logo or the design, you know, this kind of fun octopus design that we use for Inky Fingers or something like that or something similar or in that vein. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think you'd like in terms of colorways or designs because they can do all kinds of... Uh, transfer printing and that sort of stuff on this canvas. Really cool. So something along those lines might be coming along this season too. So that is fun. Let's take a look at this little thing. So this came to me from the Arizona-based company Keras Customs. It's a big billet of aluminum and you screw it open and inside comes Keras Customs' newest pen. This is the Keras Customs Decagraph. And this one of the things that makes this, def, this pen a little different is this pen is made of acrylic as opposed to being fully machined of metal. So they've got a really nice machined metal clip, nice crisp edges. They've got a metal finial on each end and the Keras Customs logo embossed in there. And uh, so this is the black acrylic version. I haven't inked it up yet. I just got it a little while ago, but that is going to be on the docket in the next couple months for a review and a giveaway as well. So huge thank you to Keras Customs for sending this along. Uh, it's kind of a, I, I like the design. It's very clean and streamlined and uh, I like this clip a lot. It, uh, it's very cool looking. It reminds me of a tie clip, but for your pocket. So anyway, so that will be coming up and I love the case it comes in too. That's kind of fun. Let's see, what else have we got? All right, so I think the next thing I'll talk about, I've talked about a little bit before, but I want to bring it up again because I haven't really done a full review or giveaway, and I would like to. Um, so this is the Jacques Urbain 1798 Amethyst de L'Oreal ink that came out from J. Urbain in Paris this year. So they've done annual releases of Shimmer inks. You know, we've got... The Rouge Hematite, Blue Ocean, Stormy Gray, Karub de Chypre, Emerald of Chavor, and this year, the Amethyst de Laurel. Now, they've changed it. Those older inks used to be as part of the 1670 line. These inks are now part of the 1798 line, and they finally put a name to the J in J. Urban. They put the name Jacques to it. So, um, it's the same kind of square-shaped bottle, got the wax seal and the wax-dipped cap, but one of the things they did that makes me so, so happy is they did a wider opening to the bottle so you can actually fill your pen. Yay! This is a beautiful purple ink. I don't have the swatch handy. I've shown it in a previous Currently Inked, and I will show it again. But it is a gorgeous purple ink. And if you like shimmer inks, this one is really, really nice. It's a silver, silver particulate in there, and it writes. I've had no problems with it at all. It's been a really nice writer. Another mailbag item. We've got another diplomat. So again, points of distinction. They have been so, so generous. I got a chance to meet Larry, the president, at, um, at the San Francisco show. He brought some pens and came and worked at the, at the Van Ness booth uh, with us for the weekend. And I got to know him. Really neat guy. Uh, we talked a lot about the pens. I learned some stuff about them. So I'll, I'll be sharing that as we do the reviews. But he let me... Uh, he and uh, his daughter, Hillary, who works he pretty heavily in the marketing side of things, sent me a couple of pens to do reviews and give away. And this one is the Excellence A+. Plus. Now, I've reviewed the Excellence A. This is the Excellence A+. Plus, and it is the, I'm, I'm going to get this, let me check the box to make sure I get the name right. The 
rhombus guilloche. So this is a fountain pen in medium. Big, one of the big differences, it's a twist cap instead of a pull cap. So if you like a twist cap over a pull cap, this is one. And again, nibs are pretty spectacular. The nibs are great. And uh, so I'm going to be working on reviews of this one, full review of this one in the not too distant future because I've got a full review of that coming. And finally, from our good friends at Van Ness Pen Company, I got this little thing. So this is from the company Tatya or Takya. I I'll do some research, see if I can't figure out the pr correct pronunciation. Pronunciation. I have even heard it called Tasha. Um, so I don't know exactly how the company pronounces it. It is. I want to say a. Taiwanese company, and I'll, I'll, I'll do all the research before I do the video, make sure I get it right, but they've taken a very uh, Italian-sounding name, and uh, comes in this clamshell case, and inside is a kind of a cigar-shaped pen, comes in a few different colors. It is a semi-transparent acrylic, but one of the things that's really cool about these pens is they're not super expensive and they have sailor made steel nibs. So if you are looking for a pen that does not have yet another Yovo or Bach made nib, you want something that's a little different, you might want to take a look at this Tatcha. Sailor makes spectacular nibs. That is well documented. And I, I haven't had a chance to use this pen a lot, but what I have used so far leads me to believe they have really nailed the steel nibs just as well as they have nailed their gold nibs. So I am very excited about opportunities to use that as well. So as you can tell, there is a lot of stuff on my plate to review. There's other stuff that I've had for a long time. Um, I'm, I'm looking for some, some less expensive pens to review as well as some more expensive pens. I've got a review coming up of the most expensive pen I've ever used. And uh, spoiler alert, I like it a lot. It's, it's too expensive even for me, and that's saying something, but I like, still really like it. Um, I'll probably have a rant or two because this is me after all. I, I'm not sure I could live without ranting every now and again. And we'll have a lot of fun. It's going to be a great season. There's a lot of great stuff coming up. So don't forget to head over to penhabit.com to check out the show notes for this welcome video and see the links to all of this stuff and the folks who sent it over. As always, I want to also offer a huge thanks to the sponsors who sponsor these videos and the Pen Habit website and to the folks who, who donate. And... The donations that help run this channel are lifeblood for me. It's That's how I get a lot of the re review materials. I've had a lot of stuff sent to me, but I still end up buying a lot of things that I wouldn't necessarily buy for my own self to use uh, that I, I then go to review. So huge, huge, huge thank you for the folks who feel like these videos have been helpful for them and uh, want to help compensate me a little bit for my time and help provide us with materials that we can review in the future. And I say us, it's basically just me. It's there, There's no us. So anyway, um, if you would like to consider donating to The Pen Habit, you can head over to penhabit.com and click on the support link up at the top of the page. Uh, I accept donations via PayPal, Patreon, and Venmo. Patreon in particular is great because you only pay if I put out a video. So that's really awesome. And uh, so every every review or educational video that I'll be putting out, uh, I will post on Patreon. You'll get notified when it comes out and you can set how much money you want to donate per video, which helps me out a lot because it helps me set a budget for finding people to help me do the photography or help me do the video editing, that sort of thing. But obviously, I am so humbled and grateful for any support that anyone is able to give. You can also support by heading over to penhabit.com and purchasing the Inky Fingers notebooks. So these are available from penhabit.com. They are some of they're some of the versions, the pocket sizes are available from pocketnotebooks.co.uk. And there are some selections available from Van Ness Pens as well. If they don't have them in stock, go feel free to you know ask them about it, and I can send off another shipment to them as well. And these these may be showing up in other retailers as time goes on as well. So just you know 
stop by frequently, come say hi here on the channel. And anytime a new retailer picks up the notebooks, I will be sure to let you know. So that is going to do it for this episode of this welcome episode of season five. Welcome back to the pen habit. I hope you had a wonderful summer, or if you're in the Southern hemisphere, I hope you had a wonderful winter and we are really looking forward to, I am really looking forward. I don't know why I keep doing the we thing. I am really looking forward to spending time with you uh, over the next eight, nine months as we, we go through season five. So thanks so much for joining. We will see you here soon for another review or educational video. And uh, thanks for being the awesome folks that you are. Have a good one. Bye.